वेलकम टू आर पी एस ग्रुप ऑफ स्कूल ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लेट एस कंटिन्यू विथ आर चैप्टर सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स एंड प्लास्टिक्स दिस इज सेशन थ्री इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वे डिस्कस्ड क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ फाइबर्स वी ऑल्सो स्टडीड प्रॉपर्टीज एंड यूजेस ऑफ रेन and nylon today we will study the following topics properties uses and examples of polyester properties and uses of acrylic advantages and disadvantages of synthetic fibers differences between natural and synthetic fibers polyester polyester is a long chain polymer formed by monomers called ester it is one of the most widely used synthetic fibers in the world polyester is actually made up of repeating units of a chemical called an ester esters are the chemicals which give fruits their smell fabrics such as polycot and polywool are made by mixing two types of fibers polycot is a mixture of polyester and cotton whereas polywool is a mixture of polyester and wool Now let us see some examples of polyester. Polyethylene terephthalate. It is also known as PET in short. It is cheap and shatterproof. PET is used in making lunch boxes, jars, utensils, films, wires, bottles and many other useful products. Let us see second example of polyester terylene Terylene is another form of polyester it is produced by polymerizing ethylene glycol with terephthalic acid Terylene can be drawn into very fine fibers that can be woven like any other yarn to form a fabric Let us study some properties of polyester. Polyester is extremely strong and tough fiber. It is lightweight and durable. Polyester does not wrinkle, shrink or stretch. It is resistant to most chemicals. Polyester is easy to wash. It absorbs less water and dries quickly it can be easily dyed in various colors let us see some uses of polyester it is used for making shirts dresses sarees track suits pillows curtains carpets bags etc it is also used to produce mixed fabrics like polywool polycot and terylene it is also used to make pet bottles and jars let us study another important synthetic fiber acrylic Acrylic is a synthetic fiber and has wool-like feel. 
It is also called artificial wool and is a cheaper alternative to natural wool. Properties of acrylic It is easy to wash. It dries quickly. It is warm and soft. It is lightweight fiber. It is easy to dye in different colors. It does not shrink, stretch or wrinkle. It is resistant to various chemicals and also to attack by moths. Let's study some uses of acrylic. Acrylic is used to make sweaters, awnings, blankets, shawls, rugs and sports fair. Advantages of synthetic fibers They do not corrode or rust. They can be easily dyed in various colors. They can be made in different shapes. Synthetic fibers are very strong. Synthetic fibers are also inexpensive. Let us study some disadvantages of synthetic fibers. They are non-biodegradable, that is, they are not decomposed by microorganisms. They catch fire easily, so it is suggested not to use them in the kitchen. They produce poisonous gases and fumes on burning, so they might cause air pollution. Let us study some differences between natural and synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers are produced from chemicals, whereas natural fibers are produced from natural substances. Synthetic fibers are much stronger, whereas natural fibers are not so strong. Synthetic fibers do not absorb water and dry up quickly. Natural fibers absorb water and take time to dry up. Synthetic fibers are durable, moth resistant and easy to maintain. Natural fibers are not so durable, affected by moths and they are difficult to maintain. Synthetic fibers are easily washable and wrinkle free. Natural fibers are not easily washable and are not wrinkle free. Synthetic fibers are less expensive as compared to natural fibers. Let us perform an activity to compare the tensile strength of different fibers. Materials required. Some threads made of different types of natural and synthetic fibers having same thickness and length of about 50 cm. An iron stand with a clamp. Polythene bag. Weights. Procedure. Take an iron stand with a clamp. Tie a cotton thread to the clamp such that it hangs freely from it. At the free end of the thread, suspend a pan or a polythene bag so that weights can be placed in it. Add weights one by one till the thread breaks.
note down the total weight required to break the thread. This weight signifies the tensile strength of the fiber. Repeat the same process with other threads also. Observation Record your observation in a tabular form as given below. Now arrange the threads or fibers in the order of their increasing strength. You will see that the order of increasing strength is as follows. Wool is less stronger than cotton. Cotton is less strong than silk. Silk is less strong than polyester. And nylon is the strongest fiber among them all. Conclusion The activity shows that nylon fiber is stronger than other fibers and has higher tensile strength. That was all for today's class. Thank you.